Dang, that's so cool. That is bad to the bone. You're okay, gonna, which, which you're gonna show, us, show us around which building we're gonna go in. This one over here. I love this guy. He's into historic preservation. He's into old signs. He's into bicycles. He's into taxidermy. He's got a 27 foot long counter. He's awesome. What do these say? Those are Coca-Cola signs, and they uh, this Army Navy surplus store got them all and painted them out in black and then lettered them with his store name. Now, I've got a picture of one that has been stripped. They look pretty doggone nice once they're done. Really? The 4x8 Coca-Cola signs that are painted over in black paint are pretty interesting. I've got a friend that has one of them. He stripped the paint off of it and it restored into a beautiful Coca-Cola sign and I think it has a date stamp on it of 1948 or 49. What did they say? That's what it looks like. Wow. Wow. No, it looks cool. Looks really cool. What I've got are eight of the same signs, but they still have the black paint on them. Would you be interested in selling all of them? I don't know if you want them all. You just make me a price. It's worth taking the gamble because of the age of these signs, the size of them, and the fact that they're in the original wood frame. Some of them look like it's maybe not going to be that big a deal. That one's not bad. Not they're from the, that's from heat. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. Others look like it's really going to be a journey. That is bare metal, so you're not going to get anything with that. I think they've got tremendous potential. A lot of bullet holes in that one. That got pepper shot, oh, bird God. shot. Yeah. That got bird shot, man. But it's going to take some elbow grease and some paint stripper to clean them up and put them back. I do 4,000 for all of them. That's 500 a piece. Some are probably going to turn out maybe good, and some are going to turn out maybe not so good, you know? I think the risk of the $4,000 purchase is all on Mike. I think the potential is tremendous, but if I'm wrong, he's got a 4 by 8 sheet of 10. I'll do that. I'll okay. do that. And we'll I understand, I understand the it. risk. I've started to do them 100 yeah. times, and I've just never taken the time to do yeah, it. Oh, so you have started to do no, one. No, I, I meant like started. Oh, like in your mind. Like in my mind. Yeah, yeah. how you're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. That's where I start stuff. This is wild. Jersey, you need that stove, man. Negative. <laughs> all right. This place is huge. There's some more bicycles. It's all about square footage when you come to like antiques. See the tank on the front oh, yeah, of that yeah, lady's yeah. bike? Wow, that's a Colson? Yeah, it's called a clipper. The more room you got, the more stuff you can buy, the more money you can make. Look at this jersey. This is heavy duty back here. Holy crapola. That's all that iron there. There's a movie theater worth of seats in there. Man, you're in the architectural salvage business. You're in the commercial property business. You're in the restoration preservation of historic property business. Let me get that on recording for my wife. <laughs> she calls me something else. <laughs> walking back into this room is like walking into a large jigsaw puzzle. There's a part for this over there. There's a part for that over there. You have to kind of really be able to put some of this stuff together in your mind. Oh my gosh, look at this jersey. Wow. God, you are Mr. Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, you've got two Memphis from Memphis to Louisville to Nashville. The l and Railway ran from Louisville to Nashville and eventually spanned from New Orleans all the way to Cincinnati. Got the train names on there too, Hummingbird. Oh, the Pan. Hummingbird, yeah, the look at that. Yep. The Pan American, yep. Didn't the uh, Hummingbird go all the way to New Orleans? Yeah, man. This was one of the most important signs in the depot. It's all hand lettered, Mike. This is telling you when your train is leaving, where it's going, and what train you're riding on. And a lot of those details would have been written in chalk by the station master. 1,200 bucks for that. I need 1,500 out of this one. It's the only one I've ever even seen. It's a big piece. Yep. It's, a, it's an incredible piece. Tremendous amount of history. Self-serve luggage carts. You literally cannot be in this room without standing on a sign most of the time. There's so many signs all over the place. And these are the different towns. Look at the gilding on that. What does that say? That's real. Chihuahua. I think that's up in North Alabama. From the restroom sign to the baggage sign. U.S. mail room. No admittance. no admittance. It's incredible the amount of signage here. Cannonville. And the condition that it's in for its age. When he got in there and they read the subject matter on these signs, I could tell the excitement was rising. Union, Union City. Union City. Rising every minute. Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. There's more over here. Every one of these signs represents a depot. It represents a town. Mad gross. And a lot of these towns existed because of the railroad. Fairburn. Fairburn. The railroad connected this country from coast to coast. Another, another Union City, another same Union one. City. 
and then that's it. This is Southern Railroad history. The collection is really incredible. I've had a guy look at these uh, signs, these wooden signs. They're around $700 a piece retail on average. Yeah. I'm not an expert. I'm not uh, certain of value on some of these signs. I did have a, what I consider an expert come in and help advise me. This stuff is pretty rare. How many are there, Mike? Eight. I got, there's eight signs. Would you do 400 a piece if, if your guy's saying 700 retail? Well, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Shake his hand, Jersey. 3200 Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I think between us, we came to a, a fair price for both of us. I think they'll be great in someone's home or in a museum. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.